In the primary view, we have this hole that cuts all the way through. It's a square hole. In a square hole, we do not put a center mark. We only do that for, for the axis of the hole. So we have a square cut. And then we have these holes right here, or our hidden lines, the extents of those holes. Now I could have extended this line on through as one long one, long one and shown that they were in alignment. And we have a dash line here and then the leg of that just goes beyond the circular object. Okay, so in this view, we have three uh, squares that are centered. So if we look at it here, it just looks like a square with this brim on it, kind of like the brim of, brim of a hat. We have our hole, we have our center mark with the legs going beyond the circular object. They don't have to go that far. It can just come out beyond this. It just depends on the software that you're drawing through, sometimes how long they go. Now you can see that this opens up. There's a cut that comes in across here. So we would have hidden lines for our geometry. And this is solid right here. So if you look, this is this solid piece right here and this right there. And then it starts down here and you can see the hidden lines down here go into the solid part. Same thing on the other side. In the, in the top view of this primary view, we show the other rectangular cut that's the same size as the square cut from the top. We have the holes coming through. Once again, you can use a continuation line here if you want to, and or you can separate it. But we have the hidden line start, starting and stopping at this geometry. If you made two little dashes here, that's even better because you do want to connect to geometry. I don't like that this is somehow disconnected because that is a tangible edge. And then those hidden lines continue on beyond the, the visible or touchable area here of this square hole or square cut. 